Hello and welcome to my 45 minute full earth mandala vinyasa flow yoga. Uh, today it is a mandala vinyasa which means we move around the mat in a 360 degrees honoring the universe and today is an earth day. So it relates to the Muladhara chakra, our root chakra, all about our foundations, everything, the root chakra, the one we build all our other chakras on. And it also relates to hamstrings. So opening up your hamstrings in this flow. I have got a bit of yin at the beginning and the end. If you don't want to start with the yin, it will help you to open up the body part we're working to, so your hamstrings. So hopefully you can go deeper and get more from your practice. But otherwise you can skip ahead straight into the flow if you want to get moving and you don't have quite as long. I hope you enjoy. To start, we're just gonna to come to sit in a comfortable seat Closing down your eyes. Palms can either be down, which is a little bit more grounding, or to the earth if you feel like you little bit need a bit more energy. And you're just gonna close your eyes and start bringing your awareness to your breath. Nice, full, deep breaths in, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Feeling your root, your sitting bones grounding down into your mat, sitting up tall for the moment. Feeling your connection to the earth. Just taking some time to be fully present on your mat. Today is the only time that exists. I'm gonna come into caterpillar, bringing your legs out in front of you, folding forward, being really heavy, no force, yin style art stretch. So we're just stretching the whole of the backside of the body. Facing your lap, if you're a little bit tighter in your hamstrings, you can put your spum onto a cushion just to elevate you a little bit. You can even have your knees slightly bent. And again, just closing down your eyes, just being present on your mat. Maybe visualizing a red ball of energy right at the base of your spine, your Muladhara chakra. The seed sound for Muladhara is lamb. If your mind's particularly busy, you might want to just repeat this out loud to yourself quietly. Each time your mind starts to wander, keep bringing it back to the breath. Now is the only time that exists. Each exhale, try to soften a little bit more into your pose. Maybe wriggling out your jaw a little. Find a little bit more softness. Breathing into any areas of tightness. And exhale, just letting go. A few more breaths here. Slowly we're going to come to lie on our backs, keeping your eyes closed, sitting up and then slowly, slowly rolling back down to lie back in your rebound. The pose between the pose, softening down into your mat, feeling yourself completely supported by the earth, allowing energy to shift and move, maybe noticing any sensations, allowing the blood to flow back through the fascia. Trying to stay very still, supposing itself. And again, keep coming back to your breath if your mind starts to wander.
I'm going to come into twist in roots now. Option one is just to bend your knees and let your knees drop to the left. Otherwise, bringing your legs up, crossing right over left, maybe a double wrap. Shift your hips slightly to right and then let your knees drop to the left. Twisting through the whole of the side of your body. So as again, because it is yin, you can let your shoulder can lift, your knees don't really need to be down. Just trying to soften down as much as you can. Again, breathing into any tightness. Exhale, letting go. So we'll be doing lots of twists in the flow. So this is just allowing us to go a little bit deeper. It should also feel really good. Maybe counting the length of your inhalation and your exhalation. Focusing your mind. Keep coming back to your breath. a few more breaths here. And then coming back to center. So with your rebound this time you can either keep your legs bent and let your knees drop together or you can lie completely flat, wash it flat, whichever feels more comfortable on your lower back. Again, noticing any sensations. A little bit longer here before we take it into the other side. Okay, we're coming over the other side. Same options, either knees just dropping to the right or crossing left over right, maybe that double wrap. Shift your hips slightly to the left and let your knees go over to the right. Soft as you can. Noticing any difference between the sides. Not trying to make them be the same. Allowing your body to be wherever it is. Staying with your breath. Finding even more softness. Maybe just giving your body a scan, seeing what you're feeling.
your mind still quite busy, just acknowledge your thoughts and then let them go. It's impossible not to think, just try not to attach to them. Just let them flow on past. And then drawing your knees into your chest, just rocking side to side, massaging out through your lower back. And then rolling up all the way to come to your hands and knees. And then take a child's pose. You can have your knees wider to open up your lower back a little bit more, or have them closer together. Just take a couple of breaths again, forehead to the mat, feeling that grounding. Rooted down into the earth. Switching on your ujjayi breath, that ocean breath, restricting the back of your throat, creating the audible sound. Coming up onto hands and knees, tucking your toes under and coming to your downward facing dog. Your knees can be bent here, maybe bending your knees and lifting your sitting bones to the ceiling. And you can just pedal out your feet, bending into one knee, stretching the opposite hamstring, maybe shifting your hip side to side, maybe pressing down through your heel with the opposite toe, Getting a little bit more into it. And then finding stillness, ready to start the flow. Inhale, lifting your right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, step right foot between your hands. Inhale, coming to your standing split, looking forward. As you exhale, forward-facing triangle, hips are square. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. And as you exhale, bending your left knee, sitting your bum to your heel, you can use your hands to help you here. As you inhale, twist towards the back of your mat and step back to a plank. And as you exhale, lower down, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale to upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. We're going to come to handstands on your floor, coming forward to a plank, lowering all the way down to your mat, arms overhead, squeezing in your stomach muscles, making your one leg. So squeeze your thighs together, squeezing your glutes, pressing through the backs of your hand. Imagine you're in a handstand. Each really engaging your bandas on your exhale. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Everything tight. Squeezing your glutes. Bring your hands to either side of your shoulders. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing, back to the flow on the right. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, step right foot between your hands. Inhale, standing split, looking forward, take it into a back bend. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sit bum to your heel, nice and controlled. Inhale, swivel around back to the front of your mat. Step back to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through to upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Hold it here, back to the breath. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Little engagement of your band is on your exhale. Pulling your hands away from each other, activating through your shoulders. So imagine you're trying to rip your mat in two. Look into your toes or look into your knees. Back to the other side. Inhale, lifting your left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot between your hands. Inhale, standing split, look forward. Exhale, forward facing triangle. 
You inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sitting back onto your right heel, slowly and controlled. Inhale, twist towards the back of your mat, step back to a plank, exhale, lowering down. Inhale, pulling yourself through, shoulders away from your ears, exhale, downward facing dog. Back to those handstands on the floor, rolling forward to a plank, lowering all the way down with control and again, arms overhead. Squeeze your thighs together, squeeze your glutes as much as you can, pressing through the backs of your hands. Pressing away through your hands as well so your shoulders are active. Scooping out your stomach muscles as much as you can. Bring hands to the side of your shoulders. Inhale, coming to your upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Back to the flow on the left. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Exhale, step left foot between your hands. Squeeze it in. Inhale, standing split, look forward. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sitting bum to your heel, nice and controlled. Inhale, turn to your right, come back to the front of your mat. And then exhale, step back to a plank, chaturanga knees, chest chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through for upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Again, hold it here. Reconnect with your breath. Each exhale, feeling your belly drawing in. Inhale, filling your lungs completely. Deep, diaphragmatic breathing. Ujjayi breath still on. Controlling the flow of prana, your life force. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center. Back to the flow, a little bit different. Inhale, lifting the prayer up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, folding over legs, you can bend your knees here. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to your plank. Chaturanga knees, chest chin. Inhale, upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Inhale, three-legged dog on the right. Exhale, step right foot between your hands. Inhale, standing split, look forward. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sitting your bum to your heel, nice and controlled. This time you've got some pulses here. Inhale, reach, lift. Exhale, folding over your right leg. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Three more. Inhale, rise. Exhale to fold. Two more. Inhale, lift. Got a bit windy here where I was. Exhale to fold. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale to fold. And then back to the flow. Inhale, twist, turn to your back of your mat. Exhale, step back, lowering down, chaturanga, knees, chest, or you can do a one leg chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Hand stands on the floor again, coming forward to your plank, lower with control, arms overhead. Again, make one leg, squeeze your thighs together, press down through your hands. Imagine you're pressing the something away from you overhead so your shoulders are really active. This will help you in your handstands. Lengthening through your tailbone. Stomach muscles drawn in. Hands either side of your shoulders. Inhale, upward facing or baby cobra, shoulders down. Exhale to downward facing. Back to the flow on the right. Inhale to your three-legged dog. Exhale, step right foot between your hands. Inhale, standing split, look forward. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sit your bum to your heel, slowly with control. And this time we're going to hold the fold in Mahamudra. So just folding over your leg and breathe. If you prefer to pulse, you can go with the pulse again. Engaging through your quadriceps, so pulling up your kneecap on your right leg will actually let your hamstring let go. Softening down into the pose. Now 
Inhale, turn back to the front of your mat, to the left. Step back to a plank, any variation. Chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, one leg chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Holding it here. Again, knees can be bent if your hamstrings are a little bit tighter, lifting your sitting bones to the ceiling. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Exhale, step left foot between your hands. Rising up, inhale, standing split, look forward. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sitting bum to your heel. Those little pulses. Inhale, rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale to fold. Three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Last two. Last one. And then inhale, turn to the back of your mat. Step back to your plank, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, whatever you're doing today. Inhale to upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Ready for your handstands on the floor. Coming all the way down with control again, one leg, squeeze everything together. Stomach muscles drawn in. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs, make everything as tight as you can. Making sure you can still breathe. <laughs> Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Inhale to upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Back to the flow on the left. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Exhale, step left foot between your hands. Inhale, coming forward, standing split, looking forward. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sitting bum towards your heel with control. There's little, the whole forward fold or you can do the pulses and breathe. Again, active through your quadriceps. Allow your hamstrings to let go. You can place your right knee down if it's more comfortable. So have a play with the pose, see what works for you. Inhale, turning to the back in front of your mat, step back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing, holding it here. If you want to play around with any inversions, handstand, headstand, pincher, feel free to do it in this time. Otherwise, just stay in your downward facing dog and breathe. Focusing your mind on your breath. Staying in the present moment. And close off the flow. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center. We've got one more round like this. Inhale, reaching the prayer up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, folding over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Flow on the right. Inhale, lifting your right leg. Exhale, step right foot between your hands. Inhale, standing split, look forward. As you exhale, take your leg to the left, keep it high. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to the left as high as you can. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to the left. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to the left. Last one. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to the left. Inhale to your standing split. 
exhale forward facing triangle inhale reach forward flat back exhale sitting your bum to your heel inhale twist to the back of your mat step back to your plank or maybe coming through a psycho and <laughs> jump back to your plank inhale upward facing your baby cobra exhale to downward facing back to those handstands on the floor inhale coming forward to a plank lowering all the way down bringing your arms overhead squeezing your thighs together making everything as tight as you can inhale two three four and exhale two three four inhale upward facing or baby cobra exhale to downward facing inhale to your three-legged dog right leg exhale step right foot between your hands inhale standing split look forward as you exhale take it to the left and then you're going to hold it as high as you can keep trying to lift your leg a little bit higher inhale two three four exhale two three four really working to your glute medius trying to lift it out to the side great for your hip stability inhale standing split look forward exhale forward facing triangle inhale reach forward flat back exhale sitting your bum to your heel see how slow and controlled you can go inhale twist to the front option for that little psycho variation just a variation otherwise you're just stepping or jumping back to a plank and then we're all going to lower down chaturanga or knees chest chin inhale upward facing exhale to downward facing nice again holding it here nice and steady Stay with your breath. So we've got to finish the flow on the left side. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Exhale, step left foot between your hands. Inhale, coming forward, standing split. Exhale, take your leg to the right, high as you can. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to the right. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to the right. Inhale, standing split. Exhale to the right. Inhale to standing split. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, sitting your bum towards your heel. I had a little wobble there. <laughs> Control. Inhale, turn to the back of your mat. Option for the little side crow thing. <laughs> Option to step back to a plank. And then lowering down. Chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Handstand on the floor last time. Coming forward. Slowly with control, lowering down to your mat. All the way down. Reaching your arms overhead. Final time here. See how much you can activate. Holding it here and breathing. Inhale to upward facing or baby cobra, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale to downward facing. Finishing on the flow on the left. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Exhale, step left foot between your hands. Inhale, standing split, look forward. Exhale, take your leg to the right and hold it. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Keep trying to lift it higher, higher, higher. Micro bend in your standing leg, make that leg strong. Notice if you're falling over to the left. Inhale, standing split, look forward. Exhale, forward facing triangle. Inhale, reach forward, flat back. Exhale, slowly with control, lowering all the way down. Inhale to the front of your mat. Any variation, step back to a plank. 
and then lower down, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, inhale, upward facing, exhale to downward facing, holding it here. Active through your upper back, pulling the hands away from each other. Each exhale, drawing your stomach muscles in tight. Inhale, allowing everything to expand. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then bringing your hands down to where your muladhara chakra would be. And then visualizing a red ball of energy at the base of your spine. Keeping your eyes closed. And then bring your arms by your sides. Inhale, lifting the prayer up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, folding over your legs again. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Inhale, lifting your right leg. Exhale, step right foot between your hands. Move your left leg slightly to the side. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Squaring your hips to the short edge of the mat, squeezing your left glute. Pressing down through the knife edge of your back foot. So everything's active. Imagine trying to pull your feet towards each other, so you're pulling energy up from the earth, engaging your bandages on the exhale. And then come into a Tita Trikonasana, straightening both legs, reach your foot body forward, and then hinging forward, keeping a flat back so you can pull your left hip as far forward as you need to to keep your spine long, and then turning your gaze to your left thumb. You can come higher up if this feels uncomfortable, you don't need to be down by the ankle. Listen to your body, whatever feels right for you. From here, we're going to come into revolved half moon. Bring your left hand down and reach your left leg behind you. Twisting towards your right. Maybe try and balance. We take that, the fingers off on your left hand. So we're going to transition. Bring your right hand down, coming into standing split, looking forward again. So keeping in a bit of a back bend. And still breathing. <laughs> Then bringing your left leg to the side, find your toe. Then find your balance coming all the way up to stand. That's it, Five. find your balance, taking your left leg high. Try to keep your hips level. You can have your left knee bent here. You can even hold the knee rather than going for the toe. Then change arms, bring your leg out in front. Again, bent knee is an option. Right hand to the foot, twisting to your left. Standing up really tall. Sweeping forward to your warrior three. Again, find your balance to transition. Warrior three, nice and strong. And then slowly step back to a high lunge. Ball of the back foot. Step back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Nice and high. And then exhale, step left foot between your hands. Right foot slightly to the side, rise up as you inhale, warrior one. Front knee above the ankle, lifting out the inner arch of your back foot, but really pressing down, but again, that action of pulling your feet towards each other. Squeezing your right glute. We came into Utita Trikonasana from here. Straightening your front leg, pulling your feet towards each other, reach forward, windmilling the arms. Again, you can pull your right hip as far forward as you need to. So working into your hamstrings. Looking down, find your balance going to come into that little twisted half, revolved half moon. So find your balance, right foot down this time, right foot lifts, a strong back leg, and then turning to your left. Again, option to have a little balance, rather than putting the weight on the right hand. And standing split, both hands down, little back bend, look forward. So see if we can come up on this side as well. 
bringing your right leg to the side. Grab your toe if you can, and then from here we're going to stand, rising up. Option to have the right leg bent, you can hold the knee, opening out to the side. Turning your gaze if you've got your balance to the left. And then we change legs, or hands even, bringing your left hand to the right foot, twist, look over your right shoulder if you've got your balance. And then sweeping back, warrior three. And then with control, step back to your high lunge. Transition, tra chaturanga, plunk. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Nice, steady breaths. And then dropping to your knees, bring your knees wide. Coming to child's pose. And just breathe. So we're going to take it back to yin now. Rolling back up. Bringing your legs in front. And we're going to come in to butterfly. Bring your feet together and reclining butterfly. So feet together, just let your knees drop to the sides, opening up through the hips. So we've been working Muladhara, so our root chakra, earth. So earth is really grounding, really stable. So we're now just to mix things up a bit, we're coming into water. So water is all about going with the flow. So earth can leave you a bit heavy. So this is just to bring it up a little bit, get things moving energetically. Thinking about sort of going with the flow is what water, the element of water is all about. And just allowing your hips to open. Feeling your body supported by the earth. So it's closing your eyes. And just find that softness again. Maybe visualizing an orange ball of energy at your sacrum, that bony bit of your pelvis at the back. Coming back to stillness, staying with your breath, And then straightening your legs out along your mat, finding your rebound. Palms to the ceiling. Again, noticing any sensation, any sensations, any tingling. Observing your thoughts. Keep coming back to the breath if your mind's starting to wander. We're going to take a little twist. 
either just take your right knee across to the left, uh, otherwise you can come into cats pulling his tail, so you're twisting, holding your right foot, and then you can extend your right, sorry, twisting, holding your left foot, taking your right leg across, and you can straighten the leg. So this way, we're bringing in a twist as well as a back bend. So twist, Manipura Chakra, and then a back bend, Anahata. So double whammy, working all the way up through the body. If this doesn't feel right in your back, then just stay with that little twist, just knee to chest and taking the knee over to the side. If at any point it doesn't feel right, just come out of the pose. Keeping your eyes closed. Find a little bit more softness. And then slowly come back to center. You can have your feet the width of the mat and let your knees drop together. Or you can come to lie flat. Your rebound. Breathing in through the nose and out through your nose. And then we're going to take it over to the other side. Left knee in, either take the twist straight over or you're crossing at your leg over. Find your right foot with the left hand, extend your left leg out. So a little twist, little back bend, playing around with the foot position of your left leg. So you can bring your leg closer towards you or further away, wherever you feel like you need the stretch. Turning your head to the left, so twist through the whole length of your spine. your final yin pose. Try to stay completely still.
and then coming back to center for your little rebound your final rebound the most important one of all your shavasana so you can if you take a few breaths with your knees bent if that feels better on your back you can even stay here for the whole shavasana if, if that feels right otherwise extending your legs breathing normally now in and out through your nose allowing all the benefits of the practice to take hold feeling yourself supported by the earth and just staying here as long as you have time to. Enjoy. <laughs>